back, folks, to another episode of Mealtime with Maddie. And now here's your host, Maddie! <sighs> Hello! I am back! Posties, looks ugly. I know it's been a hot minute, but today we're gonna get this bread. And by get this bread, I mean we're gonna make some bread! But Tumblr assured me that making bread was easier than it looked. Tumblr seems like a trustworthy website. And so I end up getting uh, two recipes that I could play with. One is a 90 minute bread. Uh, decided not to do that one. That was just seemed too easy for me. Only an hour and a half. That's too easy. We're going to the advanced level. That's right, we are doing 24 hour no need bread. So this recipe requires a yeast. First off, did not know there was two kinds of yeast. This one is for the 90 minute bread recipe and this one is for 24 hour bread recipe. As you notice, one's missing. Oh, I dropped it. That's because this dough takes 12 hours to rise on its own. <laughs> so I cheated a little bit. I went ahead and put all the ingredients in last night. And I'll put the recipe down in the description too if you want to try this for yourself. But uh, basically, I combined flour, yeast, and salt. And in a new one for me, I had to add 1 5 eighths cup of water. I know it's a little bit more than one and a half cup of water but and then I just stirred it until it was blended I had to wait for the dough to get shaggy and sticky and it was definitely very sticky then I covered the bowl with a plastic wrap and then I kind of set it on the counter to forget about for 12 hours so we're like 16 hours ish maybe 15 I'm not good at math why am I cooking so it says the dough should be ready when its surface is dotted with bubbles Oh, there, yep, there's lots of bubbles now. So as you can see, we've got some bubbles here on the side, but more importantly, we have bubbles on the surface here, on the top. So now, since the dough is ready, because the surface is dotted with bubbles, we have to lightly flour a work surface and place the dough on it. So this is going to be messy. This area is clearly not big enough. Right, I guess that area. Let's move over there. Uh, star swipe, go. Yeah. All right, look, we made it. Yay, star swipe. The ingredients again. Lord knows I'm gonna need it. This is gonna make a huge mess. I'm saving the toaster. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, oh I'm smarter than I think. See, because then I can just like swipe it into the sink when I'm done. How, how am I gonna place the dough? Okay, I'm assuming it's just gonna slide out. Just slide out. Slide out. I feel like me touching it though is ruining the air bubbles. I learned that on Great British Bake Off. There we go. We're doing it, fam. We're doing it. Fold over on itself once or twice. Okay, so one and Two. Oh, I mean, it's it's coming out to a nice consistency. That's good. Cover loosely with a plastic wrap and let it rest about 15 minutes. It doesn't say to move it from the station. So uh, let me clean off this. Look at that. Oh boy. Cover with plastic wrap. Loosely though. Loosely. Loosely. We just let it let rest here for 15 minutes. 15 minutes later. All right, so it doesn't say much after that. It just says, uh, using enough flour to keep dough, blah, 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 make ball. So we're gonna remove this. Ooh, this is kind of fun. It's generally coat a cotton towel with flour, wheat bran, or cornmeal. We're gonna do flour. Put dough seam side down on towel. What dough seam? It's just all dough. What is, what's a dough seam? Okay, we're gonna put that here. Generously coat a cotton towel with flour, okay. Oh boy, not my smartest idea, but hey, it was an idea. Can you see what I did? See? Is that generous enough for ya? Put those seam down on towel. What seam? There's no seam. Did I do something wrong? Towel's in here. Just gonna put it down in there. There we go. And then we cover with this towel. Okay, there we go. And then supposedly we cover with another towel. I don't know what the purpose of that is. I, I don't know. I don't know. If this was a baby, it'd be so... It'd be so lost. It says do it with another towel. I'm assuming just to like keep the flour in there because I'm already struggling. Here's my little bread towel baby. Okay, so my bread towel baby here uh, needs to rise for another two hours. <laughs> this is a long waiting game. So I guess in that two hour time, I will be uh, cleaning this up. I will also probably be going to work because, you know, time. Probably the next time you see my little towel dough baby, it will be done. It will be a bread instead of a little towel dough baby. Oh, come here. Uh, so I guess in the meantime, once again, here's another word from our great sponsors. Wait, hold on. I know I said we were going to go to the sponsors, but like there is flour everywhere. Every I don't even know if I'm in focus, but there's, there's flour here, there's flour down there, and there's flour in the sink. It's, 
It's a wreck, y'all, but hey, my dough baby's happy, right? Right? Okay, here's the word from our great sponsors. Higher. Further. Faster. Than all other choices to play the new Batman. Come on, DC. You know there's only one Batman enough to replace Ben Affleck. Vote Batman for Batman 2020. Paid for by Bruce Wayne. Oh, Batman! Paid for by Batman, not Bruce Wayne, no. My name is Batman, and I approve this message. All right, so those were some great words from our great sponsors. Thank you, sponsors. So basically, how I cooked the rest of the bread was very, very, very boring. So I actually decided to leave for work while it was doing like the second or third rise. I don't even know. Uh, I went ahead and took my little towel dough baby and I put it in the fridge. That kind of made the ends of the dough a little bit crusty, but it came out the same result. I poked it and it didn't immediately come up, so that meant it was ready. And then there was some complicated stuff with I had to put a pot in the oven before I put anything in the pot. And I had to let the pot get warm. Uh, because of that, I forgot the pot was warm after I took it out with warmers. And I went to go like move it real fast for something. And I burnt all 10 of my fingers. So <laughs> they're still a little sore, but I'm fine. I didn't need to go to the hospital, so that's always a good thing. But I put the dough inside of the pot. And I put the pot back inside the oven with warmers this time. And then for like the next hour, I just spent, you know, putting my hands in ice water. And then taking them out to check on the bread. And then putting them back in the ice water. I spent a lot of time with my hands in cold water okay I uh, took the bread out it looked great I took some great shots on my Google Pixel and it looks delicious so then I decided to cut into it so I can get that little first bite and <laughs> um, the crust was as hard as a rock it, the knife would barely go in. I had to kind of like jam it in there and then saw and then go back and saw where I had jammed it in to make a cut. And even then the bottom of it wasn't quite cutting. I think, you know, shaving off the bottom would make it a lot easier, which I don't think is supposed to be done. But you know, not the crust, the inside of the bread. It was nice. It tasted fine. So did I learn anything from this experience? Yeah. <laughs> I learned uh, to be careful when you're cooking to not just, you know, touch hot stuff casually, it will burn all 10 of your fingers and be really annoying the rest of your life. Will I ever make this recipe again? I don't know. It was pretty easy and for someone who is as terrible at cooking as I am, piece of bread came out of it, okay? I managed to make a whole loaf of bread and I'm a terrible cook. You guys know this, you've seen the other meal time with Maddie's, okay? <laughs> like, if you ever just wanna show up at a party and be like, hey, I've baked my own bread before. This is a good recipe to do that with. Again, there's a lot of waiting. It's not a great visual recipe if you're planning on making a YouTube video about it, but it is a recipe and it's an easy recipe, so yeah. I made some bread. I got the bread. So thank you for watching this video. If you have any ideas for recipes I could try out for a future Mealtime with Maddie episode, let me know in the comments down below. If you want to join the menace and pledge to also hug me one day, just subscribe to this channel. I will see you guys in the next video, whenever that may be. Boom, boom.